this is not the video I was planning to make today, but here we are. Hello, love. My name is Sarah, and I'm a part-time reseller on websites such as Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. If you are a returning subscriber or you viewed my channel before, welcome back. I'm happy to have you back and have you joining me on this journey of reselling together. I had full intentions in breaking down my December sales on eBay for this video, but after waiting a week for my thread up boxes to get delivered, they finally got delivered today and I'm just too excited not to open them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them with you. I did order 200 pounds of mixed clothing from thread up and that came in four boxes it was 426 dollars including shipping fees that was out the door so that leaves me at 106.50 per box so there's just one box that i'm going to be opening up today cost me essentially 106.50 so i'm going to go ahead and open her up and see what we got First, let me just say that this box is like absolutely destroyed. I don't know if you can see just this one corner here. The, the, all of these boxes were lost in translate, transit for over a week. And I'm pretty sure FedEx just had them in a warehouse somewhere. Maybe they were being passed around in different trucks. I have no idea. But they couldn't answer any questions when I tried to call, which was frustrating because I thought it was completely lost and I didn't know what was going to happen. And then they showed up like this. So I'm hoping nothing inside is destroyed. I am Florida based and it did rain a little bit. So if they were outside, I might be out of luck. Let's see. It is my first experience with thread up. So I'm hoping that I get something at least kind of good to make me come back. Um, I know some boxes are good, some boxes are not so good. I do see something new with tags already. Oh, it's for $5 though. Let's see, there it is. Just a basic gray Dan skin t-shirt. I will probably take that to a buy, sell, trade. I don't think basic shirts like that, especially with a $5 price tag are worth it to put on Poshmark or eBay. Some leggings. These do not have a size tag at all. There is kind of meshed on the side. They don't appear to be, nothing wrong with them. They just don't have a size tag. It does have, I know I've seen this before. I don't think that it's any crazy brand. I wanna say that it's just a house brand. I'm just not sure what it is. Some shorts, these are Pack Sun. kind of the distressed bottom. The back, oh and the front, has just, they're like two different colors there. These are size, let's see, size 30. This is a blazer. Valerie Stevens, size 14. I've never heard of this brand before, Valerie Stevens. It doesn't feel like it's super high-end at all. It is 100% silk though, so maybe. Maybe it's just a new to me brand that I don't know about, but it's cute. That I'm gonna put in my pile to research a little bit more. Don't appear to be destroyed at all. These, oh, they're inside out. It's that same brand and I'll have to research. I know I've seen it before, I just can't remember what it is. I don't see a size tag on these either. I'm guessing it's from the same person. They feel about the same size, um, about a size small maybe. These are dress pants. They have no name tag, no size tag. They feel like they could be about a two or a four. They're a little bit lighter probably like an Amazon brand or something like that. I 
This is an Ann Taylor loft skirt. This is universal thread dress. It's a size small. It has the v-neck and button down. This is Topshop size four. It's a cropped pink sweater. Can't tell if it's cropped or shrunken. Here is a Gap slim cropped pants. They're size zero. These are in perfect condition. So far I haven't seen anything that is damaged. This is a skirt. It's Calvin Klein size two. I do have another skirt in this style from, I don't know if you know, I have free inventory from somebody. It has not sold and no interest, so I will probably take that to either buy, sell, trade, or send it right back to thread up. The limited size extra small. It's a skirt. This does have a little bit of pilling in it. I don't think it's worth trying to fix. Again, I'll probably take that to buy, sell, trade. If it doesn't sell and buy, sell, trade, I'll send it right back to thread up. This is a Caslin size small. I've never heard of this brand. It doesn't seem like an expensive tag at all. Sometimes you can tell just from the tag. That's something I'm putting in my pile to look up and research. It's pretty cute. This just feels cheap. It is. Apartment 9, size so small, it's a skirt. It's definitely a spandex and polyester blend. Don't think that's worth listing. Vintage, it's Kathy Daniels is the tag there. Red blouse. That I will probably take to buy, sell, trade one of them. Near me, the Style Encore is more of mature brands, and that's probably where I will end up taking that piece. This is STS Blue. Never heard of that. I'm putting that in my pile to research a little bit more. It's a jean jacket. A little distressing on it. It's pretty cute. Not flawed in any way. Gold pants. These are in the style. This looks like a vintage tag just from looking at it. Of course, after I research, I will know a little bit more. Putting that in my pile the research. These are pants. These are size large. It's ambiance apparel. Kind of like an Aztec design. This is my Michelle. Doesn't seem like that much of a brand. But again, I'll research. Okay, a tag. $36 is JC Petty. A skirt. It's very lightweight. I don't know if you can see, but it is see through. That I'll probably take to the buy sell trade. A lot of this stuff I'll probably end up taking to buy sell trade. It's just the stuff that I am not sure about. I will research a little bit more, or if I end up getting something super cool. This is Class Club Gold Label, an eight slim. This is not women's. This has got to be kids. Little boys is my assumption on that. Next up is a sweater by Bowden. I think that's a pretty good brand. It's size medium. It's gray. Has a little bit of pilling, but I will try to get that off. Of course, I'm gonna look up comps, but that's probably something 
I will end up listing myself. This is a skirt, exhilaration. It's size extra, extra large. Got kind of like a, I don't know, crochet eyelet detail. That's what I'm thinking of. It's lined. Another acceleration, size medium. Probably take that to Plato's closet. Feels pretty soft. It's Rue 21, size small. It's a cold shoulder blouse. This, I can't even figure out. A new day, size extra, extra large sweater. Oh, but in the back, it's like, what is going on? Oh, it's a cardigan. It's just a black card and cardigan. Some shorts, date J. Crew, rather. They're chinos, size six. These all probably list myself. I know that there's different labels for J. Crew, so I thought it'd be helpful for you to see the actual label there. But I'll have to do my research on it. This is Tanga Paris. Again, another brand. I gotta research a little bit more. Doesn't seem like it will be anything much. Maybe it's vintage though. I just don't know much about it. I'm going in my research pile. This is a new day, size medium. This is a cold shoulder dress, it seems like, with like a tie waist on it. Yeah, that's definitely a dress. Probably list that one on on its own. I'll probably end up keeping that and keep it listed. This is divided size large. Just kind of like a Shaw thing. I'll probably take that to buy sell trade. This is, I think it's Massimo. I always forget if it's Massimo, Massimo, but it is a house brand. I think Macy's maybe. I always forget, but I see that, that label everywhere. Just a blouse. This is universal thread. Blouse. And nothing looks damaged so far. I think that it's thread up is just getting so many clothes right now that they don't know what to do with. This is Fred David. It's cute. Don't know anything about that brand going in my research pal. One reason why I like doing boxes like this and liquidation boxes is I learn all kinds of brands that I've never heard of before. Some of them are probably going to be vintage. Some of them are going to be end up being nothing, but it's something new to me. That way when I see them later on in the thrift store, if I get another thread up box, I will know immediately good or not good. This is a Dana Buckman. I would imagine this wouldn't have the best comps and it's black. I hate photographing black. I will probably take that to buy, sell, trade. This is a blouse doesn't have any kind of tags on it that I see. Let's try the size tag, or the materials tag, rather. Nothing, it's polyester. I mean, it's just a work top, nothing too crazy. There is a little bit of like a ruffle, so that's kind of cute. This is Market and Spruce. I want to say this is a brand no I don't know I know that I've seen this I don't think it, it I know it's not anything crazy but I think it comes from like a uh, what are those subscription boxes 
Mm, Fab Fit Fun, I think, has a couple of pieces from this brand in there. I could be completely wrong, but I know I've seen it. Something to note on here, it looks like it was shrunk a little bit. The actual dress is shorter than the lining, so that might not work out so well. This is Thick Shore. It does, it feels not very expensive, so I'm gonna say it's probably not, but that's one of those brands that are new to me. It is a pencil skirt with an elastic waist. Mario Serrani, new brand to me again. Doesn't feel like it's very much. It is a size two, more of like a biker short type fit. This is Miss Holly the label. It has the tag on it. Size extra small. It does look like it came in a set. Is it a bralette? What is it? It's like a lace crop. Almost like a bralette. It feels like it would be more expensive, but sometimes I can be tricked a little bit. <laughs> That's the tag. Definitely gonna research that one. This is Fun to Fun, size medium. I don't know like any of these brands, but again, doesn't feel like it's anything crazy, but I will research. This is Urban Romantics. little crop shirt. Daniel Lorraine. I feel like I've heard of it, but I've never seen the tag. Why have I heard of it before? It's just a kind of work blouse. This is Forever 21. Just a floral, flowery blouse. I try to use a lot of keywords. Uh, one of you mentioned to use like all different words for floral, flower print. So I have actually started doing that. Um, I can't, it's been too soon to really say if I've made more sales because of it, but we'll see. This is Forever 21, size small. It's a little crop top. That will probably do pretty good at Plato's Closet. This is Love by Gap. Never heard of it. I, maybe it's their loungewear line. I don't shop at Gap that often. If I see Gap in the thrift, I don't typically pick it up. These, oh gosh. I wish they had actual symbols. I know I've seen that. Okay, 90 degrees by Reflex. I've seen that before because a lot of my leggings are that brand from Amazon. I'm happy they have a size tag. They're size small. They look like they are in pretty excellent condition. Those I might be keeping for myself. This is a dress. It is Gap. Size extra small has kind of that ruffle. I feel like that ruffle is a little bit outdated. I, one time at Goodwill when I first started reselling, I picked up something like that because it was really cheap and I just got really excited because it was so cheap and it's definitely still sitting in my closet. That I will probably try to take to Plato's Closet probably won't go for very much at all. Uh, probably just end up sending it to thread up. I will end up sorting some of this stuff that I'm saying I'm gonna to go to thread up in two different boxes. One, I'm gonna put with a couple of other things that I have stocked up and I'm going to get the return assurance on it. Some of the stuff that I'm just not gonna take the return assurance, I'm just gonna let it go. 
I almost see that like it's a donation. I'm sure that's what some of this stuff is. People just saw like a donation if they happen to get 50 cents for it, cool. That's probably one that I will put in that donation box. These are Charter Club size petite, eight petite dress pants. By Soul Trade probably. This is East Fifth. I feel like I've seen that before. Is it Saks Fifth Avenue maybe? The blouse, the sheer white blouse. I might, after researching that a little bit, I might just list it on my own. These are Worthington. I might bundle these up with the last because these are eight petite as well. I'm sure it's from the same person. These ones are gray. This is J. Crew size extra small. It's navy. I'll probably list that on my own. J. Crew, I've noticed it depends on the item sometimes it goes for a lot sometimes it doesn't so of course I'm gonna have to research a little bit about these different J. Crew pieces I cannot say J. Crew today um, if it ends up being not worth it to list I'll probably take it to buy sell trade these have no tag they feel super warm though these will probably go straight to back to thread up and again be kind of that donation these are Zara, pretty cute, like parachute, I don't know, paper bag pants, I guess you would say. They're cropped. Those are probably list. This is First Love. It feels pretty soft, but I don't think that that brand is very much. It's more of like a baby doll tank something to research dana buckman again it's a work blouse nothing too crazy it does have just a plain black back to it this is banana republic skirt mm, i'll probably look up comps for that it's brown This is Maglin Outdoor. Some of these outdoor brands surprise me for what they sell for. They almost feel like they're like for golfing or something or hiking. I'll research those. I'm gonna guess that those, just from what I know about those types of brands, will probably go for maybe $20, but really honestly, I'm just guessing from what I know from previous brands. These are Taylor. B. Moss and Company. They are size, or it is size two, it's a skirt. No idea about it, never heard of it. Maybe vintage. Calvin Klein, size four. These are dress pants. They're more like flowy dress pants, it seems. They are, I think they're blue. Yeah, those are navy. They're more like comfortable, silky feel. I'll probably list those. H&M basic black shirt. Those, that's probably going straight to buy, sell, trade. It's black, it's basic. Probably not gonna go for very much. I see a tag here, this is Banana Republic. Size four, this is a Sloan crop. These are really cute and probably going to be in my closet even though they have the tag on them. I actually have family pictures kind of in this colorway this weekend and I might have just found the pants that I'm wearing. This premise. It's a floral sweater something to research. This is Banana Republic size six. It's a pencil skirt. It's navy. Oh, it has a little bit. 
It's like a faux wrap detail on it. That's kind of cute. I feel like the skirts were outdated for a while, but I feel like they're kind of making a comeback now. This is suede. It's a lemongrass studio. Jacket. Feels like a vintage feel, maybe. This is Craft and Barrel, size large. Probably take that. Oh, it looks like I need to wash it for sure. Okay, well, I'll try to wash it and then I will take it to a style encore. This is J. Crew. It has, it's like a white or silver label. It's kind of hard to get it in the camera view, but as much as you can see, it's a different label. It's more, almost reminds me of like a maid, bridesmaid's dress. This is Love Tree shorts, paper bag. If I can get them untangled. Yeah, they're just like paper bag shorts. This is Gap, size extra small. It's like a chambray type, just top. Universal thread size two. There's nothing wrong with them, but it just feels like they're pretty worn. There is a cute little design there. Nothing on the crotch. Seems to be good there. It's just the feel of them. Maybe they just need to be washed up good. This feels like splendid. Nope, it's Jessica Simpson. sanctuary I got a oh that's kind of cute I like it I got a box from B&G trading which I found out that the company is no longer but I got a lot of sanctuary in that box so that's where I recognize that brand from and I think this is pretty cute this is a new day size large it's inside out but it's just it's a green blouse. This is New York and Company, size extra small. It's a blouse. That might go directly to the style encore. This is beauty and has a tag. That is a good sign. TFNC London. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes when you know the tag, it just like looks not the best, but it's beaded. It doesn't look like any of the beading is messed up at all. This is philosophy, philosophy. This is Express, size zero, pencil skirt. It's a mini skirt, rather. This is Outback Red, size two, which is a limited brand. Ooh, leather. Runway. They're like biker shorts. That's leather. That, I don't know, is that a trend anymore? I feel like that is kind of done. Kind of, I don't know. But some people might still be with the program. This is Forever 21. Blouse, v-neck. This is Free People, size medium. Doesn't seem like a base or a typical Free People top to me. Normally they're more free flowing. So I'm definitely gonna research that one to see what's up with it. This is Forever 21. And Forever 21, typically I would just take to Play-Doh's closet. Calvin Klein size extra small. Just a top to go under like blazers and whatnot. 
This is Forever 21, size medium. It is a dress. It has, it's kind of hard to see in the video, or yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but it does have the tie waist there. The print, it's sheer sleeves. I think it's pretty cute. Vince Camuto, size small. Probably less that on my own. I wouldn't say it would go for very much, but that brand typically goes for something on Poshmark or eBay. This has a tag, but it's $8.63. The Time and True is on sale for $5. Plato's Closet. Turtleneck. Time and True. Probably steam that one up a little bit so that they are more susceptible for taking it, but that'll probably go to buy sell trade as well. These are Ruby Road. I don't think that they're very much, but that's a new to me brand. They are elastic waist, plus they have the button. I would say that's more of a mature style, so I will probably take that to Style Encore. New York and Company, size extra small. I'm thinking Style Encore for that. Day trip? I don't know. Never heard of it. Doesn't feel very expensive by any means. Probably Junior's skirt. Probably take that to Play-Doh's closet and see what happens. This is a cute little crop top. It is Patrons of Peace. I feel like I've heard of that, that brand before, but I'm not exactly sure where or why. But it's a crop top. I will probably research this if it ends up not being very much. Crop tops like this end up going at Plato's Closet with no problem. So I'll for sure take it there. This is Old Navy. Probably will take it to the buy-sell trade, but I don't feel like they'll take it. Well, you lively. It has the tag for $25. It is size 34B. It looks like it's super comfortable. It's a bra. This is Dan. It's a dress. Maybe it's a dress. Oh, it's a wrap dress. Violet and Claire. Seems like it's more of a boutique brand. I'll look it up, but my guess is it's gonna go to buy, sell, trade. This is Gru. I think that's how you pronounce it, it's Gru. Seems like it's nice, but who knows, sometimes I feel like pieces feel like they're really nice and they end up being like Forever 21 and sometimes nice pieces feel really cheap. So it's kind of hard to tell. Marika, that's where I've seen that before. That same symbol, some leggings. They have a cute silver splash detail on the bottom there. Leather jacket. As long as it's not coming apart, I should be able to list this just fine. Don't see a brand or size. Okay. Polyester. No brand, though. That's probably why they didn't take it. Again, I'll check for the crinkling. Doesn't seem like it is coming apart. You know what I mean by the crinkling? Like sometimes you see the inside of leather shoes and it's just breaking apart because it, it hasn't been used. It's just been sitting there. That's what I was afraid I was gonna find here. Of course, I'm gonna look at it a little bit more, but I didn't see any for the time being. These are Gap True Straight. They are 4A. I've never seen 4A. I'm guessing it's for average. I've just never seen it. These just feel worn. I will probably try to take them to buy, sell, trade, but in reality, they're probably just going straight back to throw it up. 
almost famous. It is a dress, I think. A very mini dress. Or maybe it's supposed to be like a tunic, but it's just like silky. It feels like it's supposed to be a dress. This is a sweater dress. It has a lot of pilling. It's Moda International. That probably take to buy sell trade, but just like the other one, I'll probably go honestly straight back to thread up. Sometimes you can send the same stuff to thread up over and over again, and they take it one time and not another time. It just kind of goes back and forth. This is another halogen piece. I'll keep that, of course. I'll look up comps. It is a skirt. Who knows where we are with skirts. Like I said, I feel like they're coming back, but then again, I don't know how long that trend is going to take to catch back on. This is a loft sweater. I, might, I have a couple of other loft pieces. That was a size extra small petite. I'll probably lot it together. I'll just probably put it end up in the same listing and just hope that I can just get them out of here. Very last piece has the tags. It is City Streets. It was $9. It's a pineapple bikini top. So that's that. I feel like I have a lot to research with these brands. Again, I know some of them are going to end up being nothing, but I'm going to research them just in case because you never know with brands sometimes. Like I said, sometimes it feels really cheap and it ends up being expensive and sometimes it feels expensive and it ends up being a not so good brand. So everything's worth researching, checking comps. I have a huge pile here that I'm going to try to take to buy, sell, trade, and then to thread up. Some of them I might end up pulling out to list on my own if they don't send a buy, sell, trade. We'll just kind of see how it goes. I do have three more boxes that I need to dig through. Of course, I'm going to dig through them with you. I also hope to make a video of my December sales in eBay as well as Mercari. So I have a lot of videos stacking up that I would like to share with you. If you would like to be notified when I unbox and release the videos for the rest of my 200 pound thread up mixed clothing lot, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That'll notify you when I release different videos. It also helps my channel and helps other people find my content as well. That lets me know that you're enjoying my content and I can continue putting it out for you. I appreciate you spending this time with me. If you know about any brands that I didn't know about, feel free to enlighten me. I never take ill intent with it. I'm always excited to be sharing and growing along with the community.